From secret underground White House bases to massive axes in the middle of nowhere, here are the top 5 cursed time capsules that should never be opened. Number 5 on this list is FDR's time capsule. Franklin D. Roosevelt was the 32nd President of the United States and served from 1933 until he died in 1945. He's one of the most well-known presidents in history and guided America through some very tough times. Getting the country through the Great Depression and also leading them into World War II was his most notable accomplishments. What many don't know is that before FDR died, he actually made a time capsule. It was buried in 1940 and other than a speech that FDR delivered, nobody has any idea what's in it. Maybe the scariest part about this is just how big this thing actually is. 450 pounds. That's how large this freaking time capsule is. That is a lot of weight, meaning that there's a ton of stuff in there. Ever since it went down, the mystery surrounding it has been massive. FDR being the literal president of the United States at the time of making it could have put any number of things in there. Secret military documents, government weapons. I mean, it seems like a stretch to think that FDR put government weapons in here, but you also never know, like, what the hell else weighs 450 pounds? Maybe FDR is just trolling all of us and just put, like, 450 pounds worth of Coca-Cola in there or something like that. One theory that's been tossed out is some secrets involving aliens. I could honestly believe something like this. Maybe FDR thought that by 2040, when the time capsule is supposed to be opened, we would be ready as a society to learn such information. Hard to say for sure, but the fun thing about this one is that we'll actually get to see in just under 20 years. Hopefully it isn't cursed with a bunch of crazy government stuff though, and FDR can have one final last moment from the grave. Number 4 on this list is the world's largest axe. So this is a pretty big axe, guys. Located in New Brunswick, the massive axe is a symbol of the importance of the foresting industry to the small town it's located in, Nakawik. It was built in 1991 and it truly is one of a kind. Like what other place in the world would you just be in the middle of nowhere and see a massive axe just chilling there? I'll answer that for you. Nowhere, only Canada. The blade is 23 feet in length and made of 55 tons of solid steel. The handle of the steel then goes into the air 50 feet. So once again, it's a pretty big axe, guys. This axe doesn't just act as a symbolic structure though, but also as a time capsule. In the center of this axe, there's a time capsule that has yet to be opened. The thing is, nobody has any idea what's in this thing. Like most time capsules, you have some sort of clue, but with this one, it's literally anyone's guess. It's also in the middle of all this solid steel, making it pretty freaking difficult to get to even if you wanted to open it. People have speculated that something creepy may be in there, and that's why no one has gone to claim it yet. It's currently believed that it may never be opened, and that could be the case. This is one of those things that not a ton of people know about, and if time continues to pass, people could very easily forget that there's a creepy time capsule in this massive axe on the side of the road to begin with. Comment down below what you think is in this huge axe, and why it's this big secret. What could they be hiding in that thing that they don't want anyone to know about? Number 3 on this list is Ancient Egyptian Tombs. A time capsule, as defined by Google, is a historic cache of goods or information usually intended as a deliberate method of communication with future people and to help future archaeologists, anthropologists, or historians. Now a tomb, as defined by Google, is a repository for the remains of the dead. It is generally any structurally enclosed internment space or burial chamber of varying size. Placing a corpse into a tomb can be called immurement and is a method of final disposition as an alternative to cremation or burial. So when you put it that way, they really aren't that different. These ancient Egyptian tombs have a bunch of stuff inside of them from the time period that whatever pharaoh or person who's buried lived. These tombs can be really cool and there's tons to learn from going inside of them. Problem is, they're pretty cursed. The tomb of Antifi reads on the outside of the tomb, any ruler who shall do evil or wickedness to this coffin, may Heman, who's a local deity, not accept any goods he offers and may his heir not inherit. 
The tomb of Kentika reads on the outside, As for all men who shall enter this my tomb, in pure there will be judgment, an end shall be made for him. I shall seize his neck like a bird, I shall cast the fear of myself into him. Those are just two tombs in Egypt that have some pretty horrible curses waiting for those who enter. Not to mention the most famous Egyptian tomb of all, King Tut. As we talked about on this channel before, pretty much everybody who was involved with the initial expedition into King Tut's tomb suffered a very grim fate pretty shortly after. There's much to learn about ancient Egyptian history in these tombs or time capsules, but it may just be not worth the risk considering what we've seen from them in the past. Number two on this list is the Crypt of Civilization. This time capsule is pretty much exactly how it sounds. It truly is a crypt of civilization, and honestly, that just makes it a little bit more creepy. Newsweek writes, Buried in 1940 at Oglethorpe University in Atlanta by the university's former president, Thornwell Jacobs, it is modeled after a cell that one might find in an Egyptian pyramid. The enormous vault contains items that have been crucial to our civilization thus far. Classic works of film and literature, every book of faith, an original script for Gone with the Wind, as well as cultural odds and ends, including a sealed bottle of Budweiser and a typewriter. But what if future civilizations can't read English? Not to worry, at the front of the crypt lies a language integrator, a machine intended to help the aliens who open said crypt with our mother tongue. So this capsule, although it's definitely one of the coolest capsules probably in the world, never should be opened. If it's open, then there's a high likelihood that it wasn't by humans who did it, and therefore its opening probably means something bad happened to our human race. Like, they literally planned for this thing to get opened in 6,000 years and are fully planning for humans to not be around anymore. Or at the very least, not speaking the language that we currently speak. It's kind of scary to me that we're thinking that in a few thousand years, civilization as we know it may cease to exist. We're also already planning ahead for aliens, which begs the question, did the people who built this capsule know something that we don't? Is it possible that they've already been in contact with such beings and that's why they know to leave such a device here in the first place? Let me know in the comments. And finally, number one on this list is the Richard Nixon time capsule. What is it with these presidents and time capsules? We already looked at FDR and his 450 pound one, but now we need to take a look at Nixon and this one's even more controversial. The following is from an article written by David Emery. Richard Nixon, who, according to the book's author, Larry Holcomb, was convinced that a limited level of UFO disclosure would ensure his place in history, went to extraordinary lengths to preserve that information for posterity if more recent reports are to be believed. A March 20th, 2018 article on the conspiracy-oriented blog, yournewswire.com, featured quotes from a phone interview with Robert Merritt, a sometime police informant and, according to him, covert domestic intelligence operative for the Nixon administration, in which he says he was shown proof of extraterrestrial life during a face-to-face -face meeting with the president. In what appears to be a startling new twist, Merritt reveals to List that he met three times with President Nixon in a deep underground location beneath the White House. In the first, Nixon read him a letter stating that U.S. was protecting an extraterrestrial being and that scientists at Los Alamos were able to communicate with it and obtain advanced technology in science. Nixon then sealed the letter in a time capsule that he hid somewhere in the White House. Aliens, an underground bunker beneath the White House, and the former president being in on all of it? This story has everything. All of this has apparently went down at the White House too, and this secret time capsule is still hidden there. This honestly sounds like the plot of a National Treasure movie or something like that. If this is true, and if Nixon really did hide away this information for future generations to find, then think about the ramifications that could have. Yes, we may learn something incredible about aliens, but how much did he tell us? Is this going to be one of those scenarios where when we hear it, we immediately wish that we hadn't? This time capsule is cursed because if it's found and revealed to the public, nobody has any idea how much damage it could cause. This could start full on worldwide riots with governments being overthrown by the public. 
Mass chaos and panic could ensue and wars could break out depending on what Nixon actually revealed. Comment down below if you think this story is true or not, and if it is, what did the former president leave behind? Well, there you have it guys. That is our list of the top five cursed time capsules that should never be open. Comment down below what you thought about this list and what you think might be inside said time capsules. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I'll catch you next time.